Hey friends, welcome back to a, another episode, our drum lesson for your monostone steel tongue drum. I hope you are having fun and playing it as much as you possibly can and trying out some of these techniques we've been talking about and uh, getting to know your drum some more. So this is a, this episode, this lesson is going to be about some different techniques for getting like kind of bonus techniques for getting different odd sounds or different sounds out of your drum that you normally wouldn't get with just the mallet hitting it or, you know, your finger. So the four techniques that I'm going to go over in this video are using your nails, actually, to create a different texture of sound, um, doing a wah like you would on a guitar, uh, doing a slide, sliding, using the mallet actually to slide on the tongues and create a sliding effect, and then something I call touching the sound, which I find to be really fun and very calming and just a great way to create a peaceful sound. So let's dive in. Um, first off, this only works if you have nails. My nails from guitar, because I'm a guitar player, are currently kind of broken, so we'll see how this goes. But the basic gist is, um, well, if you're playing with your hand, you can do this thing where you rock your fingers, like the, these three, on the note, one at a time, and it creates like a textured hit. So instead of, you get Instead of that, you got, well, the nails technique is playing off of that concept, except what we're doing is we're kind of making a little badger paw and rolling our nails up underneath. So not, not flattening them to where it's just like flat, but where they're actually scraping through and scraping under very gently and rolling from the pinky to the pointer finger. And this is a technique that I used in F minor momentum to get some really different tones out of the drum. But basically you just how that's different from this. So, it's cool. Like, I think it sounds nice. It sounds like a bicycle bell or something. I can, I can only do it on my dominant hand, so I have to like reach up with my dominant hand. It's, it's harder to do on this side of the drum for me, but. But it's cool, you can play around with it. That being said, um, careful what you use to hit these tongues, even though we're using like our hard nails. You don't want to use things that are too heavy, made of metal, things like that. Just careful when you're experimenting with hitting it with different stuff. Uh, I can't even think of a good example right now. So I'm just going to move on actually to the next technique, which is the wah technique. Um, and this is where you put your hand basically at the base of the cut of the tongue and it really works better on the higher pitched notes and less well on the lower pitch notes but you and it also works better with a mallet as opposed to hitting it with your hand um, you can kind of get a vibrato basically it's probably a better name than a wah
So yeah, it really works more nicely on the higher pitched notes, but you just put it at the base of the cuts, your hand at the base of the cut, and you know, get that, get that open and close. And what it's doing is it's, when your hand comes over it, it's blocking the sound and then opening it back up, creating a change in volume. Um, so that's something cool to play around with. Another cool technique to play around with also that works better on the higher notes, I'm actually going to turn my drum a little bit for this one, is the slide technique. And what you do is you hit towards the bottom of, it, it works better on higher notes, did I mention that already? Uh, you strike towards the bottom of the note and then you maintain contact with the tongue And you get that slidey effect. So the technique again in more slow motion, you hit at the bottom and then you slide. Like you put, you hit, hold it, and then put a little bit of pressure as you slide the rubber up the tongue and then kind of flick it off. And what you're doing is you're starting a vibration down here and then you are sliding and intensifying that vibration as you, as you slide the rubber across the drum, the tongue, it's going to create more vibration and uh, rather than hitting the drum to create, the tongue to create the sound, you're sliding and getting um, a little bit of a different tone that way. So it's a cool technique to play around with, um, especially for like making beats. Uh, that's silly. kind of do with my left hand. So really fun technique to play around with. Um, I learned this technique from watching a guy play gongs and he rubbed this, uh, this rubber implement across the gong and created this like huge whale noise. And I realized that we could do the same thing with the tongue drums by sliding the rubber across the drum, so. So super cool, um, really fun thing to do. Another technique that I haven't actually talked about yet is just actually using your other hand to dampen the drum as you're playing it. So like maybe you're playing really loud and there's a lot of reverberation going on. And then you wanna calm it down or say you just wanna isolate notes. You can just, if you wanna reduce the volume, reduce the reverberation, you can put your hand on it and keep the other tongues from vibrating and interfering and also just kind of dampen the sound a little bit. I noticed that a little bit of the high end, high frequencies are diminished and it's just a little more thumpy. <laughs> and you may want to do that. So another, the, the final technique that I want to talk to you about, and I'm sure there are more waiting to be discovered, and I'll let you know as soon as I have discovered them. But the final technique that I wanted to go over in these videos is something I call touching the sound, which is just, again, it works better on the higher notes, and it's very similar to the wah concept. But <clears throat> instead of 
touching the drum and doing this motion. Um, what I want to do is actually hit the note and then for starters, just hit the practice hitting the note and feeling like put your other hand over the note and feel the vibrations in your palm. So you can hit it, and it, this also only works with the mallets I found. Hit it, and you can feel the vibrations in your palm. You can feel the sound, essentially, in this hand. Um, and what we, you know, would end up doing is actually what I'm doing is I'm scooping over the note just close enough to the tongue to where I can feel the vibrations in my hand. I can touch the sound and then I'm removing and I'm just bouncing my hands up and down off of that sound and it's creating that vibrato change. And it can be used rhythmically because, you know, I'm doing this on a rhythm. I don't really do it very fast ever, but. So it's a cool technique to play with. It's fun. It's a great thing for, you know, a late night jam before bedtime, <laughs> things like that. Great for lullaby music. Um, and that's it. Those are the bonus techniques that I wanted to show you all. And I hope you have fun playing with that. And that's it for this video. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace.